Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, we're going to work on subtracting positive and negative fractions. They all will have an uncommon denominator, so we're going to find the common denominator. Then we're going to multiply both the numerator and the denominator of each fraction by the number that makes its denominator equal to the common denominator. Then we're going to add or subtract the fractions, and then we're going to simplify. So let's get started. Okay, we have 3 fourths minus a negative 1 fifth. Step one is find a common denominator. I like to use a factor tree. So we're going to go uh, 4 is 2 times 2, and 5 is already prime. I put them in a chart. Okay, and what you do is you bring down the numbers. If you had more than one in a, in a column, you'd only bring down one. So we've got 2 and 5, and then you just multiply all this together, and that equals 20. Because 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 5 is 20. Now, we can use 20 now as our denominator, okay? So, 4 goes into 25 times, 5 goes into 24 times, so we're going to multiply 3 times 5, and the negative 1 times 4, okay? So, we've already done this, this is where the 20 comes from, 5 times 3 is 15, and then 4 times a negative 1 is negative 4. Now, let's remember our signs. We can, since we have a minus a negative, it's just like addition. So I'm going to get rid of that. Okay. So now, 15 plus 4 equals 19. And you keep the denominator the same. So there we go. Now, 19 over 20, 19 is prime, so it is simplified, okay? The tricky part here is when you subtract a negative, you can switch the sign to positive, okay? Example 2. In this example, we have the negative number here. We need to find a common denominator. I'm going to go to a factor tree. Okay, to speed things along a little bit, the factors of 6 are 2 and 3. I place them in the chart. And for 18, it's 2, 3, and 3. Place them in the chart. Remember the rule is if you have more than one, just bring down one number. And then let's multiply these together. 2 times 3 is 6. 6 times 3 is 18. So now we have the common denominator. Okay? Now we, uh, let's remember the signs. We have a negative here. 6 goes into 18 three times. So we will multiply both of these by 3, and 18 goes into 18, obviously, one time. Okay? Okay, 3 times a negative 5 is a negative 15, and 1 times 7 is 7. So, now, what do we do with these signs? We have a negative and a negative, so that will be just like you're adding them, but you are going to keep the negative sign. So, negative 15 and negative 7 is a minus or a negative 22, and you keep 18 as your denominator. Now, what we can do is we can simplify this by dividing it by 2. So, I'm going to rewrite it. Okay, I'm going to divide it by 2. Okay, and that equals 11 over 9. Excuse me, we've got to keep the sign, which is negative. And if you would like, you can convert it to an improper fraction. But 9 goes into negative 11 one times, and then you have 2 ninths left over. So you could either go with negative 11 over 9 or a negative 1 over 2 ninths. Let's work one more example. Okay, now what do we do if we have a negative one-half, and then minus a negative three-fourths. Let's first find the common denominator, and guys, I can just look at this one. I know that it is four. So we're going to write four, and uh, two goes into four two times. So we'll multiply each of these by two. Okay, and four goes into four one times. Okay, so let's see what we have. Two times one is two but remember the sign, it's a negative, okay? And then negative 3 times 1 is a negative 3 
for us. Okay? So, but remember, whenever you have two negatives, it's just like it's a addition problem. Whenever you add, you keep the sign of the larger number. Three-fourths is larger than negative two-fourths. Three-fourths minus two-fourths is one-fourth. And we're going to keep the sign of the larger number. So there we go. I hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching. And remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.